Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. It's a, a great pleasure to be able to have you uh, joining us uh, for the Action Plan Dialogue. Uh, today, the fourth uh, day of December uh, 2020, uh, when we are concluding our African International Mediation Week. Uh, we commence this particular session by reciting the words of the National Anthem of Kenya in English. O God of all creation, bless this our land and nation. Justice be our shield and defender. May we dwell in unity, peace and liberty. Plenty be found within our borders. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome uh, to this uh, particular session, which is our action uh, plan dialogue session. Uh, we will be uh, looking at uh, what we have been able to learn this week and what will be our next uh, courses of action as mediators in the coming year of 2021. Our guest uh, speaker for this particular session is uh, Ms. Esther Njeri, who is the Deputy Director at the American Spaces Kenya. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hello. Uh, good morning. Good uh, morning, Messenger. Great to have you with us. Uh, Thank you so much. Kindly take the floor. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Esther Njeri, as you said. I am the Deputy Director at American Spaces Kenya. It's such an honor to be here with you. Um, even as you work towards, you know, um, training even more people to be able to have this conversation around mediation. It's such an important conversation, one that American Spaces Kenya supports. Uh, I've been privileged to sit in a couple of your sessions, particularly the ones that you are targeting creatives. Sorry if you hear my son crying in the background, we're all working from home, uh, but someone is taking care of that, my apologies. Um, but really just as I sat in the room, it was so clear to me that you guys are the experts and it's so good to know that we have you in our corner and it, what we wanted you to know is that we have you, um, we want to give our extensive support to you. I got to learn about you through our coordinator at the American Corner, Moi, uh, that's Emily. And she's been doing such a great job letting us know what you're doing. And um, I mean, mediation is such a crucial conversation to have, uh, not just um, at you know this level, but even at a global level. Uh, we all know conflict is no stranger to our homes. Uh, it's no stranger to our country. It is no stranger to our continent. And uh, we need to find peaceable ways to get along with one another. I subscribe to the notion that we should make every attempt to live at peace with one another. And um, that's what I believe you are doing. So uh, from American Spaces Kenya, we just wanted you to know that we support you. We want to encourage you and we're happy to provide our spaces in Nakuru, in Nairobi, in Lamu, in Mombasa for you to continue this great work that you're doing. We're opening up our audiences to you so that more people can get to know this valuable work that you're doing and can be part of it. I didn't want to take too much time. Uh, I just wanted to uh, say hello to everybody, wish everyone good health and to ask that we all stay safe. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Esther uh, Njeri, and uh, we really appreciate that uh, you have uh, go gotten the time to, to join us and just give us uh, uh, those words as we close one week of uh, virtual forum. It's a very, a very different space that we have had to um, be in this year. Um, last year, when we hosted the conference on the same uh, day, the first Friday of the month, when we started off, uh, so we were, we were at the Sarit Center. We did the, we hosted the conference at the Sarit Center. 
And this year, amazingly, we've now had a whole week. We are, we are computing the number of hours that mediators have, have gone through and also um, the travel time that we, we would, would have been there if for us to have the, some of the speakers who have been our speakers uh, from uh, Canada, from the US, from Nigeria. Uh, and, and, and really, I think we are in a new world. We are very excited that the American spaces um, um, reaffirm that the spaces are available for, for us. Um, the good news that mediators is that um, uh, specifically the American spaces has spaces in Nakuru, Nairobi, Lamu, and Mombasa. And these are spaces that we are, uh, we, 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 we actually in 2020, the, the mission, the goal was that we would have mediators have access to these spaces so that then for different purposes, for the, 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 the meetups that uh, Wasiliana have hosts every month. And so this year we were going to be able to have to go around uh, with the meetups, not only in Nairobi, because the American space is, space is available for us. So we are delighted that the spaces are still available. We know that we will also um, come in uh, with um, even greater requests because the community has actually now really uh, strengthened itself, especially after this, uh, this, this forum and this time we've been here. We are grateful. Uh, most of all, uh, we wish to say thank you to uh, Madam Emily Okeo, who's our main uh, points person and uh, uh, who coordinates uh, for our activities uh, with yourselves. She's been very resourceful and uh, we are delighted that uh, I mean, she's, she, she continues to be a support for us. So Madam Esther, I know you will be uh, with us for uh, a short while. Uh, in this uh, particular segment, we will be having uh, mediators share with us uh, what they have got themselves from the forum we've, we've hosted. And um, it's, so this is an open dialogue um, time. And most of all, what is someone going to do next? Just because that's why they're calling it, it's a strategy and a strong focus on business development and strategy. So we will be having that. It's an open discussion, uh, mediators. And so um, if, uh, if you want to raise any, uh, anything and if someone says something that's good for you, you can steal it and make use of it. Uh, we are um, an, an expanding community. Uh, Madam Esther, because um, uh, we, will, uh, we are a community, we, we have one very special request for next year. I don't know if we can ask it. Are we allowed? Could we ask? Could we make an <laughs> ask to you? Absolutely. Now that you have me here, I mean, I would take advantage if I were you. Um, and then what, what I will I request is that you follow it up with an email so that uh, we keep everything in yes. track. Yeah, go ahead. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, um, 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 Madam Jerry, uh, by us hosting this virtual forum, um, yes, it is out of the current circumstances, but also it has really helped a lot of mediators who we may not even have been connected with to get to know that, this, they, that there is a movement um, that they can be part of. And so the very specific requests we have, and I'm delighted that I can see uh, uh, some of the, the, the team leads in, um, in Wasiliana Hub are, are, are part of this call, such as uh, Christine Kinua, uh, Sarah Ter, and also colleagues, uh, young mediator Rashid, and also other colleagues who are on the call, is we have a very special request to the American Spaces, uh, Kenya, the US Embassy, that next year you support us in convening a physical conference for mediators in Kenya. That is the only request that we are putting on the table. And yes, we will follow it up with an email. <laughs> Please do. I think it's a fantastic request and I think it's a valuable conversation to have even um, on a national scale. What I know, um, as, as you can imagine, the US Embassy is wider and it's so big, much bigger than I am. I, if it were just my my own uh, resources, I would say why not? But because I do have to, you know, make consultative decisions with the uh, entire um, State Department. I'm happy to, you know, receive your email and present it in the best light possible. Uh, yeah. I'll make you look good. <laughs> I'll try to make you look good. <laughs> <laughs> um, because it's an important conversation and one of the things that I, I'm, I'll be sure to communicate is that you have been consistent and you have done a wonderful job uh, from what I hear from Emily. Emily has really represented you well. So uh, as soon as I get your email, I will definitely um, 
shared with the rest of the team. Uh, and so together we'll look at what we have um, on our table and we'll be able to give you feedback. Uh, whatever the feedback, I really do ask that you, you know, keep working with us. Um, this is an important conversation to have. I'm sure there are many other partners who would also love to plug in. And if we have any contacts that we can lend to you, um, we'd be happy to uh, point you in the right direction. Okay. And just before I go, yes. thank uh, you very much. That is. Uh... Sorry. Yes. Sorry. sorry Phil, allow me yeah, to you were saying. Can you... Yeah. Thank you. Uh, if you allow me to say this, I just wanted to say that, um, like we mentioned earlier, we've got spaces in Nairobi, Nakuru, Lamu, and Mombasa. Um, you have the opportunity to hold in-person sessions or virtual sessions as you know, COVID allows. Uh, and you know, those spaces will be available for you for free. You've got free tech, you've got free Wi-Fi, and even for your members, anyone here today who would like to access any of those spaces, as soon as they're open for the public, as soon as it's safe for us to gather together again, I do encourage you to go there and make acquaintance with the different other coordinators. People like Emily are willing to help you, uh, willing to even get resources that would advance your knowledge in this area. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Thank, uh, you. thank. Thank you. Thank you very much for for that uh, um, um, emphasis again. And I think it's it's a it's a great opportunity. And the reason I say it's a great opportunity is also because uh, in the regions of Nakuru, Nairobi, and Mombasa, mediation. Um, the media, there's, a, there's mediators population, them being um, um, cities. Um, yes, Kisumu is also one of the areas and that we, uh, we would be able to, or we, I mean, um, there, there are the other ways that this can also be supported, but first op those openings I think are, 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 are a great, great opportunity. So Esther, because I know you will exit at any point at this juncture, I will invite, um, we have a young mediator, Rashid Mwiza, who is uh, part of the young mediators who are uh, uh, developing themselves into the work. I will kindly request Rashid Wiza to give you a vote of thanks. I know you will sit in and uh, listen into a couple of the discussions as we go on and you will, will be able to uh, uh, yes, exit as, 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 as at, at pleasure. So just to point out part of the reason why we will be also be making a request to the um, to the, um, uh, to, to, to the embassy and uh, to the American spaces is because uh, one of the areas that we are building capacity in, in next year is towards the elections, the Kenyan elections. And uh, Kenya needs a new, a, new, a new style of mediation around elections or management of disputes around elections. And um, even during this conference, we had a lot of capacity building sessions or we had sessions that were focused on uh, conflict competence that's focused on elections. And so in addition to developing mediators who have are, are around family wealth, which are areas to do with inheritance and succession, commercial matters to do with extractives, the area of peace and election competence, uh, competent mediators is an area which we trust that we can be able to work very, very closely with um, the American uh, embassy and also with yourselves so that we can have mediators who can support um, the nation as we move forward. So in the meantime, allow me to kindly invite mediator Rashid, yeah, mediator Rashid Mwiza to kindly give a vote of thanks and then we can carry on with the, the rest of the program. Rashid Mwiza. Ujambo. Ujambo sijinyinyi. Naendeleaje? Yeah, tuko, tuko salama. Now, I know you're very excited when you hear that Mombasa has been added to the list of American spaces we have access to. So kindly your vote of thanks to uh, Madam Jerry. Thank you. Madam Jerry, first, um, we would like to uh, appreciate your presence for being Masiliana Hub for the AIM. It's been a pleasure. Though I, had, I didn't get all the sessions, I missed the first one and the second one and some few sessions in between not consistently keep in touch, but I have come to understand American spaces now better than previously because I've been, I've been missing sessions. So now I see that there's an opportunity for mediators to access uh, safe spaces where they can actually get to mediate and to help people in resolving their disputes. So personally, I am a young mediator, as Wangari says, um, I have two years experience. I'll be turning two years as a mediator in January. 
January 20, January 20. <laughs> yeah. So for me, I feel American space is, is for the future. And uh, the future is how we make it. And uh, it's, it's, already, it's already in progress. So hopefully, as you say, once the spaces are open, you can be able to access them. And I also mm -hmm. like to say uh, other mediators are going to be very grateful for American spaces because the future is mediation. As much as we have other conflict resolution mechanisms, there is that uh, tiredness about litigation and other forms of dispute resolution. So I believe uh, American Spaces is going to play a, a very vital role in achieving a conflict, uh, competent Kenya and East African region in general. Yeah, and um, I'd like to say thank you very much for being part of the Oceania Hub uh, conversations because you, ex you are exposing the, the mediators, please, to other areas and also you, you, are, you are bringing us into the conversation about mediation and how we can be able to assist the community and uh, the justice system in Kenya in achieving uh, conflict competence. So with those few remarks, I did not prepare for them, but excuse me, I, I'm really grateful on behalf of us, Diana Hub and all other young mediators like myself for this okay. opportunity to say thank you. Back to you, Ms. Wanga. Asante sana, uh, Rashid, for the vote of thanks. So, Jerry, please feel at home as we carry on with the other conversation. And uh, when you exit, please pass our best regards. And uh, we look forward to uh, not only uh, about putting forward our proposal for a uh, mediators conference in 2021, but most of all, in looking at uh, greater areas, how we can depend uh, the, the relationship that uh, has already started. And I think uh, if there is any testing of a relationship, if anyone started a relationship this year and it's still on, you can be sure it will, that one is lasting forever. It doesn't matter what kind of relationship because it's really been a very um, different um, year and one that um, has tested us in very many ways. So thank you very much. And also thank you, Rashid. I kindly hand over back to Mediator Sarah Ter to uh, take thank us you. through the rest of the program. Jer Jerry, would you have something to say? Oh, that's okay. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you. If I exit, please know it's only because I have a conflict in schedule, but I really appreciate what you do. Asante sana. Okay. Asante sana. Thank you. Back to you, Sarah, kindly. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are here for the action plan uh, dialogue. And uh, what uh, we shall be doing is uh, talking a little bit about what we have been able to take away from the conference this particular week and uh, saying what our next plans of action are, particularly with regards to the coming year. Uh, so what uh, I propose that we do is that uh, we shall have a round and everyone will be able to, give, to get an opportunity to be able to uh, say their one or two greatest takeaways from the conference and what they are planning to do in the coming year. So uh, if uh, our hands are up, then I will take uh, uh, the hands. If not, I will uh, begin to pick. I will pick uh, Christina because I know that as a teacher, she is always ready. Uh, Christina, are you on? Okay, not yet. Okay. Uh, Bernard, would you like to tell us about your big uh, takeaways uh, from the conference and uh, what are your action plans for the coming year? <clears throat> Okay, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I think uh, it has been a wonderful session as a young mediator who has just completed training. Uh, my eyes and mind has been opened and I'm looking forward to partnering 
the existing mediation centers, one for mentorship programs, and are also looking forward to further training so that as I build my career at these early stages, even as the country is geared towards embracing mediation as an alternative dispute resolution mechanism. I look forward to partnering and collaborating with uh, various uh, organizations to develop my career and become a mediator who is going to play a very key role in our country in ensuring that not only disputes are uh, resolved, but also that relationship are restored because that is what mediation is all about. So this has been an uh, eye opener. I've learned a lot. And uh, I've also gotten links on where I can even get more resources, even as I build and develop my career. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Bennett. Uh, Rashid, your hand was up. Thank you, Sarah, for the opportunity. I've learned a couple of things in the past days since we started. And the first thing that I say I learned is that we share the same challenges in, uh, in the ODR field, mm -hmm. especially. That is a, an observation that I made that the people in the United States, the people in Canada, mediators in Europe and Asia, we all share the same challenges. And the benefits are more than the challenges, which is a good thing. So there is uh, a good trend when it comes to mediation online. And we should encourage the parties where they feel they're they are not able to be present physically to embrace technology and also to encourage other professionals to embrace mediation, on, uh, to embrace online dispute resolution mechanisms. Another thing that I, I learned is that we need to keep sharing opportunities with other people, with other mediators, so that we are able to create awareness. The more opportunities we share, the more we are creating awareness about mediation as a profession, and we get to assist each other in developing our careers, and also uh, creating uh, an environment which is conducive for negotiations, and, uh, conflict resolution through mediation. The third thing that I learned is that the best way to predict the future is to create it. I think I learned that from Mr. I forgot his name, but he is from Canada. And uh, when he said that, it hit me because there is a, this uh, online dispute resolution mechanism, for instance, online mediations, it's an emerging issue which has was not there maybe three years ago, or maybe we were, we, most of us were not aware that it was there. So, if we want to to progress as a, as professionals in mediation, or if we want to to make strides in mediation, we have to embrace the future and we have to be prepared for it. For those who want to who have visions of of creating a, a, be, a better future, they need to... Yeah. to, 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 number. to, to understand that they are uh, emerging trends and embrace those trends. Another thing that I learned during uh, this uh, seminar, you can call it a conference or a seminar, is that there are other people or, or mediators who are actually doing community work. Uh, they are trying to do community prevention, uh, conflict prevention and conflict resolution uh, mediations. So I was really glad that I got to interact with one Audrey Mulama. Ms. Mulama was very helpful in matters uh, conflict prevention in the community. And I, and I see that in future, uh, I will partner with her because I am also working on community conflict prevention and resolution in Pali County through a, a community-based organization called the Organization for Creative Leadership. So 
at the moment we're working on a project in Kilipi, which is still uh, under discussion. Uh, we are scheduling a project to happen on 17th, an activity on 17th and, uh, and 18th of this month in Kilipi, uh, which is about uh, conflict prevention and restorative justice, because there are, uh, there are okay, in Swahili, they call them Tuhuma. In English, I'd say there are allegations that the elderly are, are, are alleged to be witches or practicing witchcraft that is harmful. And for that purpose, they are lynched and subjected to inhuman treatment and violation of their human rights. So I have a, I feel I have a duty as a, a, a legal practitioner and also as a conflict prevention or a conflict resolution enthusiast to venture into this community project to assist in conveying a message of, of uh, harmony and uh, is building during this uh, festive season. And um, another thing that I learned is that as young mediators, as long as you have not practiced for more than five years, you are a young mediator. And you should accept it inside yourself that you are young, need to keep learning and there is no limit to learning. So I was happy that I got to interact with the YMI team who was Leana Hub. And uh, I really feel that I have to, to keep doing mentorship. Like there is no end for my mentoring. I, I, I feel I have to keep learning and by that type of learning, uh, by that exposure to learning, I'm going to be able to improve myself and uh, also to become a better person in the society. And I believe why am I is going to be the best tool for me because as I am now, I have been mentored on how to do uh, mediation cases. So I have learned how to do quarter next mediations. I've learned how to do private mediations through observations, I've learned how to do family mediations, through observations. But after that, I, I, I thought about why not open my own, my, my own business? So I established a mediation consultancy called the Win Win Chamber, and um, it's a sole proprietorship. And that's why I, in the past, in the past uh, two or three sessions of yesterday and the day before, my questions were what will be the appropriate uh, nature of business association for mediators because again i need someone who's going to tell me am i doing the right thing opening up a, a mediation consultancy is it the best move to move alone how practical is it to to be a, a sole proprietor mediator or should we embrace teams that we work as a as partners or as a, as a team, as a company, which one will be the appropriate uh, business, form of business association for mediation? For instance, we see that uh, lawyers embrace partnerships, general partnerships, which uh, nowadays there is a new trend of limited liability partnerships that, that uh, they are embracing. And most partnerships are being converted now to limited liability partnerships. And maybe just to, to to speak a little about them is that limited liability partnerships are a combination of a limited company and a, and a general partnership. So it, it looks attractive because the liability of, of, the, of the partners is limited. So in case there is any dispute from, uh, from, from outside Process, or in case they want to sue, they can sue in the name of the partnership and not, uh, are not uh, individually as partners. So they do not get uh, to be individually liable, but the partnership becomes limited and, and, it, and it bears the, the liability. So it has been attractive. So there are many people who have recently been opening shop and uh, embracing limited liability partnerships. In, in mitigation. And I was thinking, why not mediation? Because um, 
it's, it's a good venture if mediators can partner and become uh, a business entity together and then divide the limited liability partnership into departments. There are those who are, who are good in family mediation, there are those who are good in commercial mediation, there are those who are very good in uh, uh, other spheres. Maybe even you can partner with arbitrators. So we can have a, a limited liability partnership, which is which consists of arbitrators and mediators. So that's a purely ADR uh, LLP. So I do, that's some bit of background information that I did and realized that it could be the appropriate. However, we need a, a lot of support from from partners. So I, I really thank Australia for that and. Uh, one other thing that I learned was that uh, we need to specialize. As mediators, there should come a time when you should think that, yes, this uh, that you believe that, to, for instance, family mediation, I'm going to, because I understand well what the law says about about family disputes, I understand family disputes at a at a very good angle. I am a, I'm very empathetic. I can understand. I can, I'm very keen to whatever the parties are, are, are portraying. I list, I look at their emotions. So it makes you the go the to go to person as a mediator. And I learned that through these sessions that we've done that we should specialize in, or at some point you should specialize. However, you can decide not to specialize. It's, so it's not uh, very uh, mandatory to specialize, but it's encouraged. Another thing I've learned is that uh, we have to create more awareness. And as uh, mediators, we have to understand that we are at a position where we are getting support from the government in creating awareness because the government has embraced total next mediation. So that is one thing that as private mediators or mediators from other areas, that is not the government, we should, uh, so we should join forces with the, with the government or the judiciary in instances where they, they want to create an awareness so that we show that togetherness and uh, it will expose us and the, the Opportunities will be too much, and we'll be able to increase our work for us, the work for ourselves. So, um, Rashi, uh, yes. I'd like to thank you very much. Uh, right. Let's have uh, a few more for the others to be able to share with us as well. We have uh, taken away uh, quite a few things that uh, uh, you have learned and some of the things that uh, you propose. Uh, I have seen uh, Modoni Kihara. Uh, has her hand up. Uh, Modoni, just uh, kindly uh, two minutes. And then uh, Christina uh, Kinwa, uh, another uh, two minutes. Okay, thank you very much for this moment. Uh, for me, the takeaway from this uh, conference is uh, the enthusiasm and the thoroughness in the arrangement of the conference. And that tells me in everything you endeavor to do in life, just be Dara and just be passionate about it because you have been able to bring together um, very many diverse with very competent uh, presenters to this conference in this new field to all of us. Um, the other thing that um, has really touched my heart is that you have been able to address the issue of special interest groups. Uh, personally, being a person with disability and being, being an enthusiast of, inclusive, of inclusiveness for the, uh, for the discriminated minority groups, that has really taken me. And I think this, I, I would appreciate if we were to explore this area further. Also being a, um, a political participant, I would be looking forward and I would want to participate further in trying to develop the curriculum for the next coming session as Wangarika Piro has mentioned, that uh, coming to the elections, we are looking into how we can have mediation. And especially 
as women in practicing politics, women practice in, 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 uh, in politics, I feel that that is an area that mediation can really, 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 really thrive. So for me, it's just to encourage the group and to say, I have I've also been encouraged and I'm happy to be part of the team. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Moroni. Uh, Christina? Okay. Uh, hmm. Perhaps uh, we shall go to the next uh, batch. I am looking out for uh, those who have their hands uh, up. Uh, Grace Nyongesa, Caleb Kusienya, would you like to have a go? Yes, Sarah. Thank you, Caleb. Please proceed. Um, greetings, everyone. Greetings and welcome. Sorry, unfortunately, I was not able to be part of the whole conference, but I was able to interact with some of the people that uh, participated in the conference. And one of my takeaway is starting from Wasiliana Hub itself. What I've picked is <clears throat> If it were not for Siliana Hub, personally, I would say that I would have not been able to interact with some of those um, people who attended the conference. And the lesson I've picked is, much as each and every one of us is trying to forge uh, a career path uh, in mediation and start something, we should also think about what we can offer ourselves to our fellow mediators, because this platform has been a, a learning platform. It has been a platform to interact with people, a platform to get to know about other people's experiences from different parts of the globe. And, and for me, that has been very key to just know that Wasiliana Hub has given me that chance to know uh, uh, the, the, the challenges and the journeys of different uh, mediation practitioners. And as far as what I, my plans are next year uh, with my organization, is I want to dwell more on, on the, at, at the community level mediation, because much as we're trying to push mediation and trying to create our sensitizations and awareness, the bulk of these disputes are down here. Most people who have these disputes out here, um, they can afford legal fees, I would say most of them, especially court annex mediation, but down here people, one, they have no information, two, they have no clue on how they can be able to access justice through an alternative means such as mediation. And the people who are also trying to help them access justice also have no much information. For example, the, the chiefs, when you go to most um, police stations, the manner in which they handle the disputes is not <clears throat> encouraging because most people get, uh, end up being turned away or discouraged to pursue the disputes beyond that. And these are the same people who cannot afford the, 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 the legal fees. So I intend to dwell more down there at the community level. And I also intend to keep in touch with the, some of the participants who have been um, part of this conference to just get to learn more and, and, and exchange ideas and you know see what lessons uh, we can share, what lessons we can pick and also try to be more in touch with Wasiliana Hub and see how we can forge ahead and get better as, as, as time goes by. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Caleb. Uh, Grace. And uh, Grace can then be followed by uh, Sabina kindly. Grace. Okay, okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I, I, I really want to appreciate, I've not been able to attend all the sessions. 
because of I think my work schedules and several meetings and I also teach at the university, all these were really clashed with my time, but I was able to attend um, effectively the first session. And I really want to appreciate that uh, Wasliana Hub has come up with this uh, platform to enable mediators um, grow and, 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 and also uh, find a, a career path in terms of mediation. Mediation works. I have seen it work in many of the matters I handle. And um, I really appreciate the fact that you have brought mediators together. Uh, today, somebody talked about a center in Nakuru. I have not been able to find, I have not, I have, I have not been aware of that, but I'm glad that there is that. I would like to know how, the, where the Nakuru center is, because that's where I'm best. And um, just like the speaker who has just spoken before me, at least but although I did not get um, from the participants, people I, I specifically personally know, but I'm glad that I've gotten into a family of mediators, people who are ready to serve the community. And I like the fact that we are taking it to another level, especially during the election where mediation will really, really be required. We need to do a lot of... Um, uh, sensitization, advocacy around uh, mediation. I think many people don't know much about mediation, the community generally, and how it works and its effect, uh, effectiveness. Uh, someone who has mentioned about uh, partnering with the chiefs, just to let them know about the mediation process and how it works, I think that's a very good starting point because there are so many d disputes at that level and people can really benefit from the mediation. So I really appreciate and look forward to being um, to more training, so to speak, and uh, more engagements with uh, with many of us who have been in the field or those who really are doing much sharing experiences, so that we can all grow and um, and make mediation really the the one thing that people should look forward to. Thank you. And thank you very much. Uh... Grace, um, uh, Sabina. Okay, kindly. thank you. Good morning again. Good morning, Sabina. Welcome. No, my first thing is to appreciate the organization of this conference because I've really learned a lot. And it's not just learning. I now feel like um, there's going to be some kind of organization for mediators where people can turn for direction, for guidance, and to know how to go about things when maybe sometimes somebody needs. We need to feel that we belong to some place. So for me, this gives me a lot of hope and encouragement that there's going to be an organization for mediators I'm very grateful for the organization of this conference, which was very enriching and I learned a lot. So from here then, I feel strengthened and encouraged. Now I feel that next year, okay, I've not been able to move out of court mediation. That's where I started and that's where I've been for the last since 2016, I think I'm not very sure now. So I feel encouraged to move out of court mediation and maybe partner with other people. I think I'll be able to have more time this time. Partner with other people, probably also try to do something on my own. And also I'm encouraged to embrace online mediation. Well, I tried, but I really am not an expert and I'm not sure that I would do it well, but I need to look more into that. Yeah, so I'm going to get more involved and look for ways of getting involved in the community. And thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Sabina, uh, for sharing with us uh, what you have been able to learn. Uh, just uh, some comment, uh, Bernard adds that uh, uh, looking at a possibility of a blended approach, borrowing from existing models like the financial dispute resolution and the YMI uh, would be good. Uh, we've taken note of that, uh, Bernard. Uh, 
uh, we would have uh, Christina. Are you ready? And then after yes. Christine, after Christina, we can have uh, Sela. Hello, hello, Sarah. Yes, Christina. Yes, I'm traveling, uh, so there may be some background noise. Uh, but thank you so much for this session. Thank you for all that has been uh, discussed here. From my end, uh, where uh, where I'm going next year, I wish to take mediation training and uh, not hire. I've learned a lot. I've learned things that I can add to upgrade uh, information within the curriculum that we are using to train. And those of you who are looking for partnerships, actually right now as we speak, I am partnering with about three mediation organizations. And uh, I'm telling you the importance of partnerships is that uh, they give you they give you a lot of networks because you know the people your friends know, you don't know them, the people you have colleagues know, they don't know them, so they expand your network. So uh, I'm working with Park Mediation Center, Jessica Conflict uh, Resolution, uh, Conflict Resolution Center in Nakuru, Park Mediation Center in uh, Chuka, that is Rakaniki County, and uh, Neutral Mediation Center in Nyeri. Uh, therefore, and uh, others are coming up in other areas. So I would encourage partnerships. For me, that's what I'm looking at going forward. So besides partnering with other people, I'm also looking at um, at uh, improving my curriculum, and uh, with, especially with with regard to with regard to online uh, dispute resolution. That is online mediation mediation. Currently, I'm actually doing virtual mediations from Milimani course in Nairobi, and uh, I can tell you you it is a better way of doing things if you have the information so uh, i intend to enrich the trainings uh, from this uh, meeting and uh, those seeking for partnerships we are next year we will be seeking out for trainers for more trainers in our organizations so we could uh, link up and talk about it and see where we can uh, work together i'll put my name on the chat and thank you very much sarah over to you, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Christina. Um, <clears throat> if you have something else to add, you can uh, kindly add it in the chat or uh, raise your hand. Uh, I will allow uh, Lydia to be able to say uh, uh, what uh, she would like to say. And uh, perhaps uh, then after Lydia, we have Fred. Lydia? OK, thank you. Thank you so much again uh, for this opportunity. I would say that the conference was very, very enriching and uh, very informative. And thanks so much for organizing such a beautiful uh, thing. Now, uh, I think what we, what I have learned is that um, mediation is workable and uh, I think it is the way. Uh, with the present world uh, where there is a lot of uh, disputes, a lot of uh, misunderstanding. And uh, we think that uh, mediation can work and it is doable. Uh, I would say that if only we continue doing a lot of awareness, especially uh, at the community level and even in the schools, because um, if only our children grow up knowing that uh, they can resolve uh, their issues in an amicable way, they will grow up that way. And uh, I'm sure that they will have a better, a better society than the society that uh, uh, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Uh, so I think also when we approach the, 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 the children, the young ones, the, the, uh, the society will be more cohesive. And then the other thing is that also, maybe we can also enhance more on uh, the plight of persons with disability. Uh, also knowing that uh, uh, different disabilities with the different needs, uh, and that will help us be able to include uh, everybody in the society without leaving uh, nobody behind because we 
uh, even persons with a disability, they belong. They belong to the families, they belong to, 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 to the society. And when the, 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 they also have their issues, so when they are able to be included uh, in a healthy way and being given a chance also to express themselves, I'm sure everybody will feel heard and understood. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, everybody. Uh, we appreciate uh, the different things that uh, we have been able to share as uh, things that uh, we have learned, as well as uh, things that we are carrying away and uh, hoping to do in the coming year. We are just uh, about coming to a close. And in case you have something that you would like to add or uh, ask, uh, then uh, uh, kindly you can be able to do that. Uh, I would request that we take a group photo and then I will quickly be able to just uh, uh, summarize uh, what uh, we have learned, uh, what we have uh, committed or picked uh, from the conference this year and the things that uh, we will be doing next year. Uh, for the group photo, if you're able to uh, get onto video, uh, kindly get onto video so that we can be able to take the group photo together. Okay. You can put a smile on your face. And then I will be able to take a photo of uh, all of us. That's so nice. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Fred, you have not said anything. Do you have anything to say just before we do the final summary? Uh, mediator, mediator uh, Sarah, Sabina yes. Muticia was on video. She is not there. Who? Or you saw Sabina, her video. Um, okay. Let, let Fred, Fred can uh, just, uh, Fred, if you have something to say, please. Thank you, thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you, Wasiliana Hub. Uh, you know, when we started, the session started, we, we started bouncing from Kenya to Uganda to Vancouver, and we felt like we had landed into a real pool of knowledge. So we are thankful so much for Wasiliana Hub. We never thought we would actually have achieved such a, a great uh, kind of knowledge. And there are so many things that actually we took and ran away with, and there are so many things we took and kept, uh, like uh, the area of mentorship and its confidentiality. Uh, I got it from the Vancouver team that actually it's, uh, there is a system that we can set so that we do not have to fear uh, on the side of confidentiality when it comes to mentorship. And so that uh, I think uh, the organizations that we have and the teams that we have knew how to come up with some policy on how we can keep the confidentiality. And so uh, we are very great. We are very grateful for the for the uh, for the teams that were there. Although I was not present for so much, I was there in almost every session, although some of the sessions could not end for me. So we appreciate so much. And uh, my take uh, from now onward, I will just say, I want to go on the side of training and I want also to go on the side of mentorship because uh, that is where I think I want to pour my knowledge. And uh, I was so happy to learn about the ODR. Uh, I think uh, I'm already joining what we call the ICODR. 
So we are almost now becoming uh, connected internationally. And uh, we felt so, we felt so much love before this conference. We felt uh, we could not actually move, but with the pool of knowledge that we now have, then I feel that we shall be able to move uh, very, very far. I thank you so much, Sarah. I thank you so much, Wangari and the team. Uh, may Wasiliana have be blessed. May, uh, may God open more grounds for you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Fred. Uh, you have some company, are they also a mediator? Sorry, come again. Uh, your company is also a mediator. We have, we, we saw oh, someone. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm a director at Jesilo Conflict Resolution Center together with Christina Kenyon. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Sarah, there was a gentleman with Fred. He can say hello. We, we, he be still there. Oh, 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 okay, okay. This is Bishop. Oh, introduce yourself. Yes. Oh, yes. Bishop, um, say hello. I'm Bishop Titus Moge, and I work close, very close with the Fred Committee, the man full of knowledge, and I appreciate being next to him. With whatever is going on, he has already been briefing me. So once we have been together, I, have, I felt also to join you because I can see the pool you are creating is to make people expand with the knowledge and knowledge is power. Thank you, and I join you very quickly. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Bishop. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, so just uh, in quick summary, as as we close, the things that uh, we have picked uh, for us, you know, going forward, and this is drawn from the different uh, presentations. Uh, one is uh, training learning mentorship this is key and has come up uh, uh, several times uh, a second thing that uh, was mentioned uh, that uh, people will be looking into is you know the business model to be able to use for mediation and uh, there was a, uh, a few people have talked about partnership uh, importance of partnership of partnership and willingness to partner so this is something that uh, uh, you can be able to look at uh, as we go into the new year. Uh, one of the other things that uh, was brought up is uh, a greater participation of uh, women, uh, particularly as uh, you know the, the elections are coming up. So having uh, women having a bigger voice in both the politics and the mediation uh, space uh, towards uh, uh, election. Uh, the fourth thing that has been mentioned is the aspect of uh, community level mediation and being able to reach out uh, to the community because this is where the issues are. Uh, and uh, finally, there's the issue of advocacy and awareness that uh, people will be going out to talk more about uh, mediation and the opportunities that are available for mediation. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it has been good to have you uh, joining the action uh, plan uh, dialogue at the African International Mediation Week. Uh, today, the fourth day of uh, December uh, 2020, uh, we have come to the close of uh, this uh, particular uh, session and uh, we will be having uh, after party session uh, tomorrow night at uh, 8 uh, p.m. Uh, tomorrow being our community day, uh, we encourage you as well as uh, challenge you uh, to reach out to at least five people tomorrow. So that is your homework for uh, Saturday. Reach out to at least five people telling them about uh, mediation and the benefits of mediation. So thank you very much. And uh, we will be able to close uh, by reciting uh, the words of uh, the national anthem. And uh, kindly do not forget to join us at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. The words of the national anthem uh, in uh, English. Oh God, 
of our creation, blesses our land and nation, justice be our shield and defender. May we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. Plenty be found, be found within our borders. So ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget tomorrow is our community awareness. We are going to reach out to at least five people, telling them about mediation. And we have the final session at 8 p.m. tomorrow, where we will be looking at uh, landlords and the issue of uh, tenancy. God bless you very much and have a good day. Thank you. You too. Thank you.